Hi guys, this is Natasha, aka Natty Willy. Um, I'm again co-founder of Nerd Element and welcome to my little book corner, Natty's Book Corner. Here we go. I will be reviewing two books for you today. It will be Lady of the Rivers by Philip Gregory and The White Queen also by Philip Gregory. And yes, yeah. Here we go. I'll make sure that there are pictures, but this is Lady of the Rivers. I had already returned the the White Queen at the library, so unfortunately, I, but I did make sure I take, took a picture, so I'll make sure it's put on the side as I'm reviewing both books. So, I have always wanted to read Philippa Gregory ever since the movie came out, The Other Boleyn Girl, and I realized that it was based on a book by her, and so I was like, okay, I gotta check this woman out. She writes historical fiction. I've always been into, you know, that Tudor, uh, Elizabeth area, and The Cousins War actually takes place before the Tudor era actually, you know, gets started up and running, with, especially with Henry VIII and Elizabeth. So I was definitely interested in reading that series, and when Stars came out with the show The White Queen, I was like, ooh, I gotta study even more. And when I realized that Philip Gregory, Gregory uh, wrote the books. I was just like, okay, I just need to read her books. I need to read the series. And so that's where this jumped off. Uh, let's first start off with Lady of the Rivers. Now, even though Lady of the Rivers was actually published after the Red Queen, pretty much the White Queen, the Red Queen, uh, the Kingmaker's Daughter, and the White Princess is all part of the Cousins War series by Philippa Gregory, but um, Lady of the Rivers was actually published after The Red Queen, and technically it's actually a prequel to um, to the whole Cousin War series anyway. So I would definitely recommend that you read Lady of the Rivers first because it is the story of Jaquetta, Jaquetta of Luxembourg, who later became Duchess of Bedford and later become Lady Woodville. And Lady Woodville as is Elizabeth Woodville's mother, uh, who uh, is also featured in The White Queen to some extent. And just seeing her development and growth as a character throughout Lady of the Rivers was definitely really good to see. And when I started reading The White Queen, just seeing her progression as a character even more, as a mother who is trying to protect her daughter's interests, was very well played and definitely very well written by Philippa Gregory. Definitely goes into a little bit more the the witchcraft or like the mysteriousness of witchcraft. Um, pretty much the ladies of the Woodville family are descended from the goddess, river goddess Melusina who controls the water and she's very in tune with the waters, the streams and that kind of a thing and Jaquetta is very well um, spiritual in that regard and she's also um, she also has visions and she can also hear when a family member dies uh, the river goddess singing to her um, to sing the person home to her whoever that may be which is uh, most likely a family member um, not only that the Jaquetta's um, journey through she's like a really young kid when she starts she's about 15 when the book starts and she um, grows up she gets married uh, like probably around 16 uh, 17 and then um, then she gets married to Richard a few years later because the Duke of Bedford dies. And so just the fact that she was a woman living in the times where women didn't really have a lot of choices, she took control of who she married the second go round, which was the love of her life, Richard Woodville, who happened to be the squire of her first husband. And so they kind of fell in love with each other while she was married, but they didn't do anything about it until after he died. So I kind of was, I was really happy for that. And, you know, just their love story was very sweet and very touching. And you could really tell that they loved each other so much. And this is, um, Philippa Gregory definitely writes this in the first person point of view and so I really appreciated that and uh, throughout her marriage with Richard we're also dealing with the king and the queen at the time who was Henry the sixth and his wife Margaret of Anjou and the fact that Jaquetta was the lady in waiting for um, Margaret of Anjou so she really got to see from a first person perspective of what was going on as far as the political uh, rivalry between the houses and 
Henry the Sixth struggle with the throne and ruling England and uh, Jaquetta really bonded with Margaret of Anjou just because they were both they both lived in France and um, uh, throughout the book they're really talking about uh, England holding the lands in France and political maneuverings of who was the favorite of the king and versus the people that weren't really favorites of him and how they were treated and you definitely get a sense of what of the things that happened in the book that's what kind of caused the cousins war and you definitely get a jump off point on that and uh, where the Lady of the Rivers ends is definitely where the White Queen picks up, which is when Elizabeth goes to meet uh, King Edward um, in order to try and get lands back from her dead husband. Now, the series on Stars didn't really focus on Jaquetta's story, which was in Lady of the Rivers, so I'm really hoping that they actually go back to that because I think it was a good prequel. It could be like two or three episodes, but I, I really think her story should be told. And it's de definitely a jump off point for the Cousins War series and especially the series The White Queen. And so, in regards to that, let's get right back into The White Queen. Uh, the White Queen is definitely Elizabeth Woodville's story because she eventually becomes the Queen of England by marrying Edward, who was the king at the time, uh, king uh, who was part of the York family. And there's definitely still political uh, rivalries going on, especially between the two brothers, which was unfortunate because they did, um, the other two brothers, George and uh, Richard, helped Edward secure the throne and just their dynamics and what they did to kind of move themselves ahead was very unfortunate and Elizabeth was definitely trying to make sure that she was protected with you know trying to marry off different family members to uh, powerful houses in England and it was unfortunate at least to me because Jaquetta and Elizabeth had the chance to really uh, take control and choose who they wanted to marry. Um, Elizabeth even with her first husband she really liked him she was like in love with him and so she was able to you know pursue that and choose the husband that she wanted and unfortunately the rest of her sisters and even her daughters don't get to really do that especially since you know the brothers were trying to like steal the throne away from her and like her kids um, Edward's kids I mean it was just really crazy as the white queen um, there was definitely some um, river goddess Melusina drama going on. You heard Melusina um, sing to Elizabeth when uh, someone that she loved passed and so she definitely inherited her mom's gifts in that front and how she used those gifts um, for the good and for the ill of her family in the White Queen so I definitely love that aspect of it and so both books were definitely a good read for me. If I had to rate it from a scale of 1 to 10, I would definitely rate them about an 8, 8.5. Eight uh, there were just a few problems with um, more The White Queen than Lady of the Rivers. I The pacing was really good. I really enjoyed the pacing. But um, as far as the family tree that's in the beginning of the book, and I understand where Miss um, Gregory was going with it, but as far as... Um, the beginning of the book with the family tree. The family tree was pretty much this is where we are at the start of the book and so you don't really get a lot of death dates and maybe that would have ruined the plot but at the same time these are real historical figures. I mean anyone could have looked up when these people died on the Wikipedia but as far as the book is concerned it really would have been helpful if we had at least a few um, death dates for some of the characters and especially with some of the children that were born throughout the course of the book it really would have helped to have that also in the family tree so we weren't as lost. Uh, Lady of the Rivers was slightly better that family tree but definitely um, the White Queen I was, like, I was really confused confused throughout the course of the book. I mean, really in reality, Elizabeth had two sons named Richard. So throughout the book, I was like, okay, which Richard is she referring to? Like, I know one of them was really much older than the other, but at the same time, I was just like, okay, which which one is she talking about? 
Um, even though the older boy had a different last name, I was still confused. So just a little, just a little twinge of that, and also with the White Queen in particular, like Lady of the Rivers was in first person like the entire way throughout the book. Whereas with the White Queen, there were portions of the book where it all, where it all of a sudden like switched to someone else's point of view, most likely a male character like Edward or another male character like her brother, and it was just like okay. Why is it all of a sudden switching? Why is this something that maybe Elizabeth is seeing through her husband or her brother's eyes? Why? Now granted, it helped move the plot along, but it was just a little jarring to read that when throughout most of the book, Elizabeth was, um, it was in her point of view. So just a little, those are just little things that I thought were wrong with, um, the books but again I definitely give them an 8 out of 10 and tell me what you think what did you think of the White Queen and Lady of the Rivers if you've read both both books already I'm definitely trying to continue reading the series uh, I am reading the Red Queen now and hopefully I will get a review for you soon and thanks for taking the time to watch this video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you took my um, my humble opinion of these two books in stride and if you agree with me great if you didn't agree with me just tell me why we can start a conversation either on YouTube uh, via the comments below or you know catch me on Twitter at willcat12 um, hopefully I'll hear from you soon definitely subscribe to the channel uh, I definitely have more book reviews coming and uh, hope you enjoyed it thanks peace